Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal! What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Leave us. Now! I'm not sure that I'm what alive, though. Saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? But how? A portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. They will rue this day for the rest of their short and miserable lives. At least that bone-headed warden paid for it with his life. <laughs> I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. Ah, oh yeah. Do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they've hold up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone. But I will find him. Him and his cohorts. Under the sight of the goddess, this I swear. Before the first arrives. It won't reach her ears. You make sure of that. If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... We won't give her the opportunity. No shit, so these guys are uh, in cahoots. Does, you and, I will and the others uh, are, you know... Lives. Are, are in the what dark. What light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander. Go! Take care of this! Goddess, watch it. Monday, July 24th, 2220. It's our three months anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? What do you think? You have more energy. You appear more content with your life now than you did three months ago. But only you can tell how you are feeling. Who the hell are you? I, I, I can't do that for you. I know. You remember nothing of what happened before the coma. What? I'm sure you want to remember. I think you do. Do you agree with that, Zoe? What? Really? She doesn't... She... She doesn't remember what happened? And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not sure I can take losing everything all over again. And potentially lose everything I've built here? I know there's something I need to remember, something I'm supposed to be doing. Until I figure that out, I can't find peace. <sighs> Amnesia, huh? Amnesia. Amnesia, huh? Hmm. I do. I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember. So I have to find out. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? Dropping out of uni, moving back in with Dad. I'd lost... Lost faith in myself and everyone around me. I'd broken up with Reza. And you seem to remember him. You, you, you seem to remember him. Right? Reza vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine, but that's where it ends. And before that, okay. before leaving Casablanca, Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. Now, do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently, it was some sort of glitch or virus, rogue code infecting the worldwide wire. Someone at Watticorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. <gasps> 
He'd put some they pinned sort of worm into the code, turning they pinned him they pinned it on him affecting millions at least that's that's what they say he recorded a confession before he at least he came clean absolved his employer of any wrongdoing convenient in what way oh, forget it I don't remember any of it all I know is they poisoned my mind inserted false memories nothing I saw or experienced was real the little girl on the screens the other the other world Arcadia another colorful figment of their imagination a synthetic dream maybe she's feigning I remember nothing bit. of going to Japan breaking into what Corp. nope I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma Aside from you, Reza, and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose, and even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she passed away. <gasps> you feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. Everyone is dying! What the hell is happening here? It's a week of my life. Gone. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? I have Why would you call him Gabriel? <laughs> he is his father. My degree, so I guess that means I'm not disassociating myself completely from dad and everything he represents. Oh shit, she's but gonna he, become an engineer? He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. We're not exactly close anymore. That's Damn. perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Eurotrash? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Our time is almost up. That's fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. If you do find a way to clean up the river, a lot of people will be happy. Uh huh? I might actually be contributing something to society, for once. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman. Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Uh, press to bring up uh, Zoe's journals and flashing blah blah blah. Huh, so this is a three months after we woke up. Damien is... I don't know. I don't know what happened to Damien. And Olivia is dead. Oh no. We don't know what happened to Reza. And, uh, by the way, I'm liking the background here. Sashadri Tower has the best view in Propass Bar none. Sashadri? Sashadri? I've heard of that name before. I could stare out this window for hours, but the doc will probably get really annoyed. Ah, oh, I can see our house from here. Oh, oh no, not our house at all. Seshadri Tower has the best view in Propast, bar none. Propast? Where's that? Now, I don't know where this Propast is. I'm assuming it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a real location, like a, a real city. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Dr. Roman. Hmm. Oh, this is absolutely trippy. Oh, it's a digital painting. Well, actually, before I uh, go ahead and... And, uh, 
you know, check this room. Uh, we have new entries here. Wow. There's uh, going to be a lot of reading in this, uh, in this episode. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, th this is a uh, new info about uh, at, uh, about the emissary. Uh, Sister uh, Sahia. Sister Sahia is uh, the Azadi emissary to the Northlands. Uh, as uh, steward uh, stewardess uh, of Mercury and administrator of the engine project, uh, she's the youngest priestess to ever uh, rise so fast and far. And there are whispers... Uh, that she may, that there are whispers that she may someday become a mother. A mother? Huh. Is this uh, like a uh, like a high-ranking, uh, high-ranking, uh, what do you call it? High-ranking. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Official. Uh, Like some sort of a prestige or something? I really don't know. And the engine project. What the hell is this engine project? Putting her status uh, and life at risk, however, is her uh, uh, illicit relationship with Commander Vamon and her ambition to rise above the rule of Emissary to establish a new Azadi seat of power in the Northlands. The two lovers are, are plotting to... Uh, uh, cement their control over Mercuria and use the engine to serve their own ambitions. Huh. That is kind of explained to us. You would think this. You, you, the, you would think that they would keep this uh, kind of info as a twist in the end. But how would the how how did the other you know the um. D does, uh, like, Kian and the other characters actually know about this? How, and how do they know about something like that? Hmm. Sahia answers to the Six, the Child Empress of the Azadi Empire, as well as the Mysterious Prophet, uh, Architect of the Engine. Oh, the Prophet. We've totally forgot about the Prophet. He was, uh, I mean, he didn't linger for long in the previous game. It was probably important. He was the archi architect of the tower, huh? Okay. Oh god, there's gonna be a lot of reading viewers. Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. Alright, I know where this uh, episode is going. <laughs> and probably the other uh, few episodes... Oh, yes. And the other few episodes. How many episodes? Two? Three? <laughs> Tuesday, April 4th. Awake. Alive. Uh, amnesiac. Doctor told me to keep a journal. Uh, said it uh, might help me deal with uh, not remembering. Because uh, this might be a temporary, but it might also be permanent. A whole year. Lost. Oh, sh so she forgot... None. She just forgot a year? Hmm. Uh, so journal. Uh, dicta uh, dictating uh, voice to text. Expect uh, some rambling. Uh, how to begin? Hello, diary? Hello, dear reader of my diary? No, I'm uh, the only one who could be reading. I made sure of this. <laughs> all the encryptions, all of the, uh, all of, all the encryptions, uh, and I am certain I'll never read uh, this because awkward. No matter. This, uh, this actually, this uh, definitely could have uh, been uh, better if it was voiced, especially since we're talking about technology here. About you know, uh, you know, why would you keep uh, things like logged in text? Isn't isn't it more convenient? Uh, well, actually, it is probably more convenient to be in text, especially if you want to search in, uh, for a single point. But you know, audio to text could be a thing. 
uh, text to audio, I mean. Text to audio probably would be a thing in the future. Uh, no matter. This is about the process of recording my thoughts, uh, my days, my life, the days of my life. This is about uh, remembering. So, key points. Uh, been awake for a few days now, still in bed uh, most of the time, but uh, drugs and implants and robotic uh, appendages are helping make uh, this, rap uh, this a rapid recovery, a rapid physical recovery. Oh. Your heart uh, still ache though, and mentally uh, devastated. You're getting, getting used to food. Food is lovely. They bring me the food and I eat the food. All of the food and I eat all day. Uh, weight gain will not be a problem. Damn! I Now I envy you. <laughs> now I envy you. Goddamn. Shit. Maybe this is the way to lose weight, viewers. You have to go into a coma. Dad wants me to join him in Mumbai. There's nothing for me here in Casablanca. An empty apartment. Painful memories. I can't stay here. But live with Dad after all the, the things? As for my memories, and not a whole lot of those. Not since before the whole ordeal. But Dad filled in uh, a few of the gaps when I woke up. Reza vanished. Reza vanished, huh? Riza vanished. I uh, went searching for him. I discovered the... Oh, I mean, I thought he was vanished again after we woke up. She's trying, you know, to, you know, detail what happened before, I guess. We know, though. At least I know. I don't know if uh, about you viewers, if you actually watched uh, or played the previous games or not. I went searching for him. I discovered that Wadi Corp Dream Machine Project slash Conspiracy, uh, uh, the story Riza was uh, chasing. I also found uh, out that uh, my mother was involved, except, except I didn't know she was my mother. Also, I didn't know my mother was alive. Also, she put me in a coma. Yep. Summary? Uh, went off after investiga uh, investigative uh, journalist... Uh, Went after investigative journalist ex-boyfriend on silly rescue mission. Discovered a corporate plot to control people's dreams. Found out my father's uh, been uh, lying to me all my life and that my uh, mother isn't dead. What about Faith? What about Faith? I actually want to know about Faith. Does he know? He probably do does. In short... Uh, I thwarted a global conspiracy and in return, Mummy Dearest injected me with an experimental drug. It's uh, a sordid story. I could probably sell it for a billion uh, uh, new, uh, new yuan. Oh shit, new yuans? Is that the new, the new currency? But hey, uh, bonus, I saved the world. I made uh, some uh, tasty lemonade from those uh, pesky lemons. No, follow, no, no, following dad uh, to Mumbai is not an option. I'll have to do this on my own uh, now. Without dad, without a safety net, without memories. I'm Zoe Castillo, awake, alive, and amnesiac. Monday, April 10th. Dear diary, etc. One week, one uh, uh, on my uh, feet and telling and feeling fine. Scary how quickly you can get over being in a coma for a year without uh, the help of modern science. I barely have uh, bed sores. So what now? Riz and I are talking about getting together again, and I've uh, been talking. Oh sure, so uh, Riz didn't leave, huh? What happened then? He's living in uh, Europolis. I'm rootless. Uh, no uh, roots. I can go anywhere. It doesn't matter. I'm starting a new life. Uh, I get to pick uh, where to begin. Yes, relationship. I work fast. Like, did you actually go back together? I don't know. You really have a weird and shitty taste of men. I gotta be honest. Is this a good thing? It feels like it could be. Reza visited me almost every day when I was sick. He never stopped talking to me. He was the first thing I saw when I, wo when I woke up. Okay, yes, so we broke up because I, it wasn't working, but that was before. 
why is it was why before was cap why before was is capitalized this is after and i am different we both are uh we've both turned a page begun a new chapter it's a good thing i think i will join riza in europolis why not it'll be an an adventure well i guess she decided to go uh you know uh, bounce beds with uh, Reza. Hmm. Friday, April 14th. I've decided to cut off contact with Dad, at least for now. Wow, why? Why would you do that? Uh, this may turn out to be a bad idea, but I'm angry and disappointed. I can't forgive him for keeping uh, so secrets, uh, so many secrets from me. Uh, for so many uh, for so many years, telling my mother was dead when she uh, so clearly wasn't. Even if she was an evil bitch, and she is, and even if she ended up trying to kill me, and she did, that's not something you uh, do to your child. I guess <laughs> you definitely uh, answered your question of why he kept uh, all of that secret. You don't lie. Not about that shit. I hope these feelings will pass, or maybe hope isn't the right world. Uh, the uh, right word. I'll keep an open mind, but for now, and for the foreseeable future, he will not be a part of my life. My life right now is all about getting back on my feet. Emotionally, I am uh, walking just fine. Yeah, I think um, emotionally I'm walking just fine. Like she's fine now. Really. Like in terms of uh, dealing with Reza, dealing with uh, uh, dealing with the death of Olivia, dealing with uh, Damien, Damien, yeah, didn't you want to, you know, you know, to get back with Damien or something? Well, I guess d we don't know what happened to Damien. Hopefully, this uh, the diary will uh, will uh, tell us. My life right now is all about uh, getting back on my feet. Emotionally, I'm walking just fine, and moving to Europolis to uh, live with Reza. That's enough for now. Uh, I really don't know. He just woke up, to, decided to uh, to not, you know, to to break all kind of con uh, contact uh, with your family and go live with a stranger. Live with the stranger. I don't know. I don't know, girl. Monday. April 17th. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye-bye, Casablanca. Hello, Europolis. Europolis. So now Europe is, uh, is, uh, is one country. Is one utopia. Europolis. That's so European. I've barely been, in, been to Europe. Not a huge fan. Rampant poverty, crime, pollution, awful food. <laughs> and yet, that's where I'm going. Uh, where I'm going. Europolis. Prague district. Uh, Propast. Uh, uh, Propast, I think uh, Propast is in uh, uh, Bulgaria, by the way. Yeah, I did Google it. I did Google it later. Bulgaria. Is it the capital, though? No, I didn't know. I just, you know, Googled uh, Propast and found that it's, um, it's in Bulgaria. That's it. That was an easy choice, since that's where Riz is uh, working. Yes, he's still with the hand that feeds. Still an uh, an investigative journalist, uh, still uh, taking that whole saving the world thing seriously. I love him. If nothing else, at least I had a very good idea of what I wanted to do with my life uh, the moment I woke up. I don't know why, but it was crystal clear in my head. Going back to school, continuing my bioengineering degree, my mind's uh, set. It's almost like I made that decision while I was in the coma, which... I have to admit, is convenient. Huh. Am I right? <laughs> uh, this is gonna be interesting, huh? Saturday, April 22nd. Iris, capital letters, please. I hate Europolis. Thank you. Back to lowercase. Five reasons I hate uh, Europolis. There is no sun. None. <laughs> it's always raining. Always. There's no uh, vegetation. No trees. No plants. Uh, no grass. None. 
they claim to speak English, but it's uh, littered with uh, slang words like moss and bole. What the hell is, are those? I don't understand half of what they're saying. Um, <laughs> so uh, I uh, fit their... Uh, I, I personally fit their uh, like a glove. Huh? Nice. Did I mention there's no sun? Fuck this. Wow, Zoe. What's with the... Uh, with the, uh, you know, with the with the swearing. But, oh, it's fantastic, and I love it. So you uh, hate it and you love it? Hmm. Zoe, uh, contradictions. You are, are uh, full of them. I'm starting a new chapter. Uh, I am putting the past behind me. I am growing up. I'm no longer defined by who I was or what I did or didn't do before the coma. That's why I love it. You've already uh, found a place, super close to Riz's office, and we're moving in on Monday or Tuesday. Of course, we haven't actually seen the place outside of the simulation, but I'm uh, sure it's perfect. It can be a hellhole. It's uh, still be, uh, it'll still be perfect. It doesn't matter how I feel about Europolis, or about the apartment, or about not having a job, or about being shit scared. Because I'm here now, and this is the beginning of the new story for me. Hmm. Monday, I, April 24th. I started therapy today, Dr. Roman uh, Zelenka. How the hell are you going to pay for that, though? Reza is going to pay for that? Shit. Shit, he needs to be rich. I mean, uh, psychiatrist, uh, you know, uh, ask for a lot of money. <laughs> I started therapy today, Dr. Roman Zelenka, psychotherapist. Uh, uh, good head of hair. I will disagree with that. Dorky suit. Reza found him. He came recommended from someone at the hand. He's nice. I like him. There's uh, chemistry. I can talk to him. He didn't push me or any of my very large buttons. Of course, it's all uh, therapists' uh, smoke and mirrors, but I don't mind. If I don't see strings uh, being pulled, I don't care. Also, it's, fi it's a five-minute walk from home. Convenient. Five-minute walk from home? Hmm. On that note, I do need to start working out. The food is uh, pretty awesome here in uh, Propast. I thought uh, you said the food is shitty. I'm still not quite sure uh, what uh, therapy is going to do. Help me remember? I do want to remember. How much uh, and how fast? I don't know yet. Uh, I'll take things uh, as they uh, come, I guess. I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable Zoe. This morning, I got uh, in touch with uh, Cape Town University, paid my fees, reactivated my enrollment, and submitted a proposal for my undergraduate pro project. I had a productive morning. With any luck, they'll let me stay here in ProPass and do my degree remotely. Wow, that's definitely convenient. Super convenient. From Cape Town? Europe to, to Cape Town? That's, uh, that's super convenient. I might have to go, uh, but these online courses are trash. <laughs> At least that's what I hear, uh, hear of. I might have to go back uh, every few weeks, but that's fine. Six hours on the uh, uh, back tracks. Oh, six hours? Uh, uh, traveling? Uh, I, I don't like that. For, uh, every few weeks, I guess it's okay. I just load up uh, on episodes of Euro Trash. My new addiction, Euro Trash. <laughs> All I can do now is cross my toes and wait. I think the proposal is pretty good, all things considered. It's an extension of what I was working on before I dropped out, so it shouldn't be completely unrealistic. Alright, Thursday, April 27th. So, here are three facts about uh, our tiny flat in the Sonenshian uh, Plaza uh, Teresis. Sonentian Plaza Teresis. What the hell is a Sonentian, though? Uh, it is tiny. Number one, it's tiny. It's the size of my bedroom in Casablanca. If you uh, didn't include the balcony. <laughs> it smells weird. 
uh, uh, three, the window looks straight into a brick wall with neon signs on it. Oh, now that is a disaster. Holy hell. But I love it. <laughs> yeah, you're full of contradictions, Zoe. But I love it. We have our own place. I couldn't wish for anything more. I feel liberated. I feel like myself again. Well, sort of. A uh, forgetful, amnesiac self. Half Zoe, but a better half. A better half, huh? Sunday, April uh, 30th, uh, 2220. Project Find a Friend, or 5, has begun. Find a friend, or 5? It sounds so desperate, but I'm going to give it a shot. I am going to try to build a life for myself here. And part of that is having friends... Right? The lady with the uh, food cart outside Dr. Zelenka's office is one of, the, of my projects. She's really weird and a bit too intense. But I like her. Nella, was it? Yes, Nella. She's on my list. My list of candidates, uh, friends candidates. W would you? Is that a thing that people would do? I don't know. I don't have friends. <laughs> Uh, as you grow old, viewers, you get busy with life, you, you know, start, you know, your, con your, your connection with your older friends become, you know, you know, weaker and weaker, and, you know, everyone has, having responsibilities, and, you know, busy lives, and, yeah, you, you keep contact, you know, a few times a year, probably, uh, and then a few times every few years, and then, once every, <laughs> I don't know, five or six years, and, you know. Feels bad, man. If anyone ever finds out about this list, I will have to kill them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Probably I need to do that. <laughs> Sully's on the list, too. Sully's a friend. Uh, but he's also Wizard's best friend, so I can't uh, hijack him and make him my best friend. Also, I'm starting to think Sully might have the... Uh, teensiest crush on me. Oh, oh, oh. He's sweet, though. A true, uh, minch. What? Minch? What the hell is that? Well, I don't know. That's probably European. Uh, my proposal was accepted. CTU uh, said it was interesting and potentially uh, useful. Cautiously positive reinforcement. CTU, uh, I think that's Cape Town uh, University. They've already suggested a supervisor, Adala uh, bint uh, uh, Khalid. Adala. Adala isn't uh, an Arabic name. Khalid is. Bint uh, means uh, daughter of. Like Adala, daughter of uh, Khalid. I remember uh, Ada from Cape Town. Uh, doctoral student back then. She's a postdoctoral. Postdoctoral. She's postdoctoral now. She's postdoctoral. My my, um, my pronunciation suck. Postdoctoral. Yeah, postdoctoral now, and she really liked my proposal. Apparently. She's already been working on related research. Uh, she is coming up in a couple of days uh, for a chat. She is gonna travel from Cape Town to Europe? To Europe? Wow. Okay. She's coming up in a couple of days for a chat. And if we get along, and if she gives uh, the thumb up... We are go for a uh, we are go uh, we are go for launch. So the idea is to pioneer these new synthetic uh, smart. Uh, is it algae or algae? I think al is it algae. I think the algae uh, algae is plural and algae is singular, but I don't know. I forgot how you uh, write algae and algae. Uh, smart algae designed to clean up the river running through a uh, propast. Uh, but not only uh, do the algae need to eat the, popu uh, the population, but not only do the algae need to eat the pop the, uh, need the pol the pollution. Oh, okay, okay. 
Uh, but not only do the algae need to eat the pollution, they also have to process it and ex uh, ex uh, Excrete a chemical, a chemical that can continue to break down the pol uh, the pollutant, uh, the pollutants in the water. My ambition is to make the water drinkable, doable. Uh, sewage water drink drinkable. Oh, did it, did she see? Did she say sewer? No, it's river. River water. Hmm. My ambition is to make the water drinkable, doable, doable, maybe. CT CTU definitely seems to think there's a small chance of uh, applicable research emerging from this uh, from the test project. Nice. That ha that happened quickly. Good, right? I'm sure it's good. Oh, and I have uh, a pun. Don't be such a smart algae. That's it. Thank you. Smart algae. I don't get it. Yeah, I just took a sip of water, and, you know, to try and think, uh, think it a little bit. No, I don't get it. Uh, you're, uh, you're, uh, you you may be smart, Zoe, but um, your sense of humor is trash. Oh, that's a longer, much longer entry, huh? Oh, really long. Thursday, June 15th, 2020, uh, 2220. I knew I wasn't be, uh, I, I wouldn't be able to keep updating my journal on... Uh, regular basis. I'm so predictable. I'm busy. Busy me. Busy, busy bee. So, an update. Yoga for my mind. An exercise in memory. Here goes. Europolis is growing on me. Okay, yes. The flat is awful. The ventilation system rarely works. It's hot. It smells weird. Wait a minute! It's hot in Europe? Oh, God. Global climate change, huh? It smells weird. There's well, that's predictable. It's Europe. <laughs> There's no sunlight, and people talk funny. But I like the energy. I like the diversity. Casablanca was like London: beautiful, safe, uh, prosperous, uh, all shiny metal and glass and polished stone, but never practi uh, never, uh, never particularly exciting. It's exciting here, and there's uh, hi and there's and there's history in these uh, streets. Filthy, stinky, crumbling, fading history. But history! There are, uh, there are art galleries and cinemas and a thousand million food carts. Uh, I had a... A pyrogi. A pyrogi? What the hell is a pyrogi? I had a pyrogi for lunch and it was delicious. Sure, there are uh, CD sex clubs, illegal dream uh, empo empo emporiums, and people urinating on the streets. Oh, God. And you, and you, you don't want to go back to Casablanca? <sighs> this is uh, going to be, uh, I don't know, the Black Plague all over again. It's going to be the pla Black Plague all over again. But at least it's genuine urination. Urination with uh, gusto. Well, uh, if you say so. Two, I'm really enjoying the project. Being back in school-ish, I feel like I'm picking up exactly where I left off, and that's good. It's great. This is what I always wanted to do with my life, so it makes sense, right? I think that's right, and Ada is a great uh, supervisor. Patient, smart, serious. I'm learning uh, so much from her. Also, algae are cool. Uh, there it is. I enjoy algae. I'm a... I'm a fan al gear. I'm a fan girl. Fan al girl. Yeah, it's... <sighs> Zoe, stop! Stop it! Stop it! Please, Zoe! Please! That sounded a lot better, better in my head. Yeah, I, I, no, no. I disagree. I disagree. I'm inside your head. and It will never sound... Good. Three! I've gone political. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell did they do to you, Zoe? Oh. They ruined you! So that's pretty weird, I guess. When did Zoe ever care about pol politics? I hear people say inside their heads, which means I can also read minds now. Awesome. But I both do and don't. Let me explain. 
Dear Diary, I'm now volunteering for a political a political campaign. <sighs> you were the chosen one, Zoe, but now you're not. You're uh, you're trash. I was uh, browsing the wire, looking for uh, things to do locally, and there uh, it was. An ad for a voluntary uh, position, assisting the Leah Ominska Omin campaign. Leah Ominska, okay. The Leah Ominska campaign. Ominska is the mayoral uh, candidate for unity. The Europe, uh, the the Europolitan, Europolitan, Europolitan Social de uh, Democrat Democratic pa Democratic Party. Hey, I thought that's uh, a thing to do, which could also be rewarding and interesting. I, r I read up on uh, Unity's uh, agenda and Omniska's uh, track record. I uh, figured they were probably the party I'd vote for. If I vote, if I voted, which I haven't. Oh God! <laughs> no, Zoe. No, you're a Gen, you're a Gen Z, Zoe. Holy. You're you're not you're a Gen Z dude. Your diet probably consists of brown wheat and avocado, right, Zoe? Oh god! Fucking brown wheat and avocado eating. Gen Z's. Oh. Figured they were probably the party I'd vote for, and sent in and sent in my application. The next day, I met uh, Baruti. Baruti is great. More about him later. And thirty minutes later, I was a volunteer with a mission. I was political. Oh God. So why? It's like waking from a slumber, I guess. Or hey, maybe a coma. Stop it, Zoe. Before all the things I lived, uh, before uh, all the things I lived in a uh, uh, a protected bubble, I was spoiled. I was bored. I was aimless. I didn't care. But going through what I w went through, losing everything and everyone, moving to a new uh, city, it's uh, it has uh, given me perspective, if nothing else. And uh, even if I'm still not a very political person, I do see the need for change to happen here, everywhere. Uh, can't you just, you know, finish your degree and bounce uh, on vids some more and enjoy life or, or something? People, there is a saying. The people buy their own misery. I don't know if there's a you know a similar saying in English or in, in any other language, but in the language that I know of translate to p that people buy their own suffering, their own misery. Also, also, meeting uh, Baruti and uh, seeing his engagement and passion that's uh, infectious. It must be amazing to care as much as he does. To sacrifice and work hard to achieve something for the greater good. I want that. I want to be able to feel that way. And the social democrats seems like the only ones who uh, won't do any more harm to Europolis. How's that for idealism? I don't know. If you say so. Four. As for Project Find a Friend, I'm not doing a very good job. Here are my candidates. Noah. Of Nella Bites, food cart lady, Mar Marx, Mar Marxist, Marxist. What the hell is a Marxist? Firecracker, very loud and energetic. Better in small doses. I can tolerate having lunch with her and maybe watching an old movie. Not a sleepover or a day of shopping, or a night of drinking. I guess I know these kind of uh, guys. <laughs> Sully, love Sully. Sully is the best. But he's uh, Reza's uh, uh, friend, and he uh, likes me just a tiny bit too much for us to just hang out on our own without it feeling maybe a tinsy bit awkward. He's still awesome. Best guy. Hmm. Baruti, campaign manager guy. Yeah, maybe? He makes me smile, and I have lots of fun working with him. Uh, for him. Uh-oh. 
But he's uh, my boss, and we're uh, very different. We can be friendly. We can have drinks and talk about the campaign or Europolis or food. But that's as far as it goes. D. Ada? Sure. Uh, we could become friends. She's uh, hard to get uh, close to. But I am trying. I respect and admire her. She has uh, head in pa uh, d uh, She has head in uh, depths. We are very different people. But that's not a bad thing. It could turn into a beautiful friendship. Or at least uh, a pretty good one. A, it could turn into a beautiful friendship or a pretty good one. Why would you say that? E Reza? This is a depressing list. What do you mean by Reza? Uh, you mean you want to break up with Reza? Damn, when we go with uh, Sully? God damn, girl. More uh, fish in the sea or more uh, bouncy beds in the sea, huh? Sunday, July 23rd. I can't believe it's not sand. Huh? I, uh, is she, uh, is she like... Huh? I read that... I read they use imported space rocks that are uh, pulverized, uh, processed, exposed to radiation uh, to, hey, irony, remove radiation, and then they use that to make fake beaches. Damn, you guys ran out of land? Hmm. Why not just use sand or earth rocks? Are space rocks so much better than uh, earth rocks? Well, if it's from space, then it's bound to be, uh, you know, cooler, I guess? I don't know. Well, maybe it's a, <laughs> it's a reason, you know, to rock up uh, prices. Now your uh, bottle of water will cost uh, uh, 15 bucks! <laughs> <laughs> Bottled water, fifteen bucks. Yeah, I forgot about that from the very first bit from the from the very first game. I forgot about fifteen bucks a bottle. Holy, that's the reason, huh? God damn. Yeah, there is a joke by the way. Uh, by the way, viewers, where there is a you know uh, a uh, like a time when you find out that uh, a bottle of water or oh, April will uh, talk about you know. Uh, you know, uh, w bottled water, water uh, will actually uh, uh, cost uh, like 15 bucks in in Newport. Or, I don't know, 15 bucks or New Yuan? I don't know. 15 bucks for a bottle of water! It's because of uh, moon sand or space sand or space rocks, whatever. Anyway, we're not in Europolis anymore. Tutu! We're not in Euro. I think we are. Uh, Trieste is exactly how I imagined. Trieste uh, would be... Uh, uh, what I imagine Trieste would be like. Filled with Euro... Uh, Euro... Uh, Europolitans? Europolitans. I think it's called Europolitans. Uh, it's uh, filled with uh, Europolitans escaping the smog and fog and heat and rain and uh, pollution in order to to risk skin cancer on fake beaches while eating food that's a lot worse than the food in uh, propast in hotels made of uh, plastic uh, polymers god damn also swimming is out of the question you really need to wear a hazmat suit to go swimming in the mediterranean in the mediterranean these day uh, in the Mediterranean these days. Where is that? Is that like in Italy or something? W where is this uh, Trieste? Um, I don't know where, uh, where it is, viewers. Please uh, help me. Or probably I'm gonna Google it later. Also, swimming is out of the question. You really need to wear a hazmat suit to go swimming in the Mediterranean these days. Uh, this is a far cry from the uh, pristine beaches of uh, Camps Bay or... Uh, Nagor, or even Zanzibar, and now I miss Africa. Damn, Africa's best continent now? Nice. But this trip wasn't about all that. It was about getting away and being together and strengthening our relationship. Oh, I guess uh, he read uh, your diary, huh? <laughs> Reza read your, di your diary. It's been a bit... Rocky lately. It's been tough on Riza to have me in his space. 
and tough on me to jump straight from a uh, year long coma to relationship. Tough all around. There have been uh, moments when I've uh, thought, hmm, was this uh, a good choice? Did I really think it uh, through? Can I deal with the consequences? Yeah, your uh, last entry did suggest that. So, yeah, we needed this. We need more of this. We are both so busy and uh, preoccupied in Prospat that we sometimes get on each other's nerves. Here, we've been able to relax, find peace, and have, a, have lots and lots of awesome sex. Bouncing beds! Oh, no, nothing wrong with that. Well, well, <laughs> well, well, Gabrielle will think otherwise. Probably, I don't know. I'm still worried. I'm worried that we'll uh, grow apart again. I'm worried that my uh, instincts uh, were right uh, the first time around. That Riz is a good friend more than, he's, uh, than he is a partner. Wait a second! You didn't have any kind of... Any kind of uh, bed bouncing uh, when you lived together in Prospect? What the hell do you do guys do? What, what's the reason for, uh, for living in a... In the same place. What's the purpose of that? <laughs> I'm still worried. I'm worried that we'll grow apart again. I am worried that my instincts were right at the first time around. That uh, Riz is a good friend more than he is a partner. Oh, God. It, it never works, viewers. But trust me, it never works. I'm worried. But I'll leave the uh, worrying now for another day. While I focus on soaking up these uh, last few rays of wonderful sun. Also, can't complain about the sex. Uh, Sunday night, an update. Oh shit. I, it's uh, really late and I have to be up really early. Riz is in the shower and I'm lying here in bed staring up into the ceiling. Thinking. Why is that? It was such a hassle getting back into pro, uh, pro past. Uh, there are eye checkpoints everywhere now. And you need to show uh, papers just to move between sectors, which is insane. So we waited in the line for almost an hour, and then we started arguing, and suddenly all the good vibes from the weekend vanished, and I felt like crying. Uh-oh. It's uh, It got better afterwards. We made up, but... I can't help but feel there's something off, like we've uh, started down different paths. And right now, uh, those, those uh, paths are parallel. But soon they'll be diverged, and then... Here's Reza now. I think I'm overreacting. I'm so tired and grumpy. And good night. Good night? No, uh... Makeup, uh... Bed bouncing? Make a bed bouncing. It should be some. It should be something that should be performed after an argument. As a male, as a straight male, healthy male, I demand that from every lady. That's share the same bouncy bed. Hell yeah! Monday, July twenty fourth, twenty two twenty. Three months in therapy. Still batshit crazy. Hello. I'm not complaining. The doc's doing a good job. Probably. <laughs> My uh, head's a mess. I've lost over a year of memories, but I'm getting better. Ish. And I do want to remember. That's probably a step uh, in the right direction. Right? At least there is uh, that. Anyway. I've spent enough time in my head today. No more uh, psychotherapy. Dear diary, let's move forward and focus on the present. So this is the day. This is the present day. Monday, July 24th. Three months after our... Uh, more than three months. No, it's... Like... June, uh, yeah, July, July. Yeah, three months... Uh, more than three months after the fact, after that we woke up. Huh. 